All right, so this match comes to us from Love is Blind. Uh, they have 302 hours, so relatively fresh to Dead by Daylight compared to like a lot of people that kind of like grind this game and uh, spend a lot of time in this game. They are playing Pyramid Head, which is a character that, as you guys saw earlier, I was uh, really, really, you know, I've put a lot of time into getting better at lately. They've been one of my pet projects, uh, and I do be hitting some crazy cool shots, which I enjoy a lot. Uh, so let's see what Love and Blind has got for us today. Okay, so we start with RPD East Wing, which is a killer side of map, so that's good for you right away. Very, very good for you right away. Let's see, uh, looking at your add-ons, you have the best add-on choice. Uh, Pyramid Head. Realistically, you should always, if you can afford to, always be running Burning Man Painting and Wax Doll. His entire range, his range uh, buff um, um, add-ons, that's what you should be running at a given point, because that's basically his only good add-on. Um, <laughs> you can kind of get away with running duration add-ons as well, but realistically, you should just be stacking two range add-ons, to be honest. So, you got the right add-ons. Your perk build is mostly fine. There's nothing really wrong with it. It's a it's a solid build. Pain res is great. Um, just keep in mind that like that does have some counter synergy with your cages, but still a great, great, amazing choice. One of the best slowdown perks in the game. Um, I see lethal as a good start, and you're using lethal IMO ears, which is going to help you you know train those snipes, uh, which is good. Um, and I do like that, but, um, just keep in mind that you kind of don't have, like, a true, like, consistent info perk on terms of, like, where to go and what to do, like, the discordance or barbecue or something, so if you have a little bit of a problem with the macro game, that would be something I would probably replace. Uh, Tinker in 2023, yeah. Tinker is okay. It's not a bad perk, but, um, if there's anything I would pop out of your build, it'd probably be Tinker. Put, like, barbecue or something here, maybe. So, some sort of info perk or an extra slowdown. But yeah. So you, they all four spawned up there. Ooh. Ideally had right there. ASAP. Wow, that gem's gonna go quick with all three of them up there. <laughs> Trying to shred that gem they are. Yeah, that pallet's just very strong. Ooh, nice shot. Very, very good shot. I like what you did there where you kind of looked a different direction. This is a good thing that you should do with any range character, not just uh, Pyramid Head. Is like, you should you should look away. You should look, uh, like, like as a, as a mix-up, as like a flick, you should look away from where you're aiming. Because the survivors, you know, the reasons, one of the main reasons the survivors run and look at you while they're running is they're trying to figure out what you're going to do and how to react. And if you're just, like, looking directly at where you're going to throw your ranged weapon, whether it be a Hunter's Hatchet or a Rites of Judgment from Pyramid Head, they're just going to assume that, and rightfully so, that that's where the, the attack is going. But I like what you did there, um, where you looked, you didn't look where you were M2-ing, which is smart. Wow, did they just not... Well, they know you, they had to have heard you carry, so why, why did they just stay there? Oh, that's Shadow Step. You could have let that rock. You could have let that rock. She didn't have anywhere to dodge there. But this is the safer option. They got her up already. Upstairs. That means people are up there still. Like the other characters are. Wow, they got her fully healed already? Oh my gosh. Does that mean all four players are up there? Or does somebody just have a gnarly momentum? That's nutty. That Yunjin just went down. I would definitely kick out that shadow step. At least on this map I would. There you go. On an indoor map like this, especially a, a dual floored indoor map, like Shadow Step can get pretty nasty. Cool. Yeah, there's also the potential of exponential, which is also really nasty on indoor maps. I like your choice to stay on that Lita here. Because they chose to, uh... Unfortunately, they chose to run into you. Good. In a cage, in a cage. True. Very, very true. Wow. DS in the year of our Lord 2023. That should have hit her. I don't know why I didn't. But, luckily, she didn't get anywhere. You're just down her again. Yeah, I would take this time to put her up on a... Yeah. 
Let's free trip. Okay, good. You can assume that it's probably on that gen that just proc in career. I remember Pyramids used to do this, like, run Tinker a lot, just for the express purpose of, like... That was weird. Uh, for the express purpose of, uh, you know, getting sneak up shots. But you're not even attempting that, so, like, I'm not sure why you're running Tinker exactly. Like I said, that would probably be the thing that I would, uh, take out of your build. Is that so far... Why are you leaving? You know they're on that gem, and they're trying to get that gem. There's two people there. Where are you headed? Yeah, you could have just... Yeah, there was no reason for you to do what you did. Yeah, because now they've... now. Yep, there she is. Like, like you could have just, like, followed her over there initially. That's wild. She didn't drop that. I was almost assuming she was going to. Be good. Using your eye all ears and lethal. <laughs> she was just going to get right back on the gen. <laughs> That's funny. This pallet's already out of the way, so she should be dead. Mm, she might make that. You might have to do some shenanigans here. Good. You didn't go for the shot. You went for the safe option, which is just to zone a bit and then keep going. Just good. Yeah, I think they're. I think they're mostly besides this person, like giving up on this gen and just deciding to go across the map now, which is smart. But it does. Put you in a precarious situation as a character without a movement option. Yeah, that was the library again. The bright side for you is they are kind of like... Ooh. The bright side for you is they are kind of uh, grouping up their gens a lot. At this point, at this point, since the they are being very, very gen efficient, I would go after Thalita here and not Cheryl. Because you're already down to two gens and you need somebody dead by two gens. Um, so I would go after Talita here and not, uh, not Cheryl. I know it's, like, the mean thing to do, but, like, they are, they, they, honestly, you're not playing too shabby. You're not playing too bad. You're hitting your, you're getting your pain res hooks. You're, you're kind of, like, getting lost in chase sometimes, so you're a little distracted. But, like, you're only losing, like, five, ten seconds off your chase, which is not, it still matters, but it's not, like, it shouldn't be losing you the whole game, is, like, what I'm gonna say it, it it matters but it shouldn't be losing you the whole game um so they're just being really gen efficient so you need to counteract that by going after Talita here like Talita and Yunjin should be your uh like your two main people you're focusing on right now yeah don't even pay attention to there you go there you go get on her don't even pay attention to like Neo or Cheryl if you can help it like just chase down these two because they're the ones that you have the most pressure and hooks on. Good one. <laughs> that 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 pal, unless you can get a smacker, that is pretty useless. Kind of I don't like playing RPD as Survivor. Is it just like there's not a whole lot of? It's just kind of like pallets of varying quality and not really so much. Why does she crawl out from under the pallet? That's interesting. Okay, good. She's dead. Now your next, uh, your next, uh, target should be, uh, should be Yunjin if you can find her. But you don't really have any sort of, like, info perks to really do that, so you're just gonna have to, like, patrol where you find her. I'm also seeing that, like, you play a lot of your loops very safely, but maybe these chases could have been potentially... Saved, uh, be, been, like, you know, shaved down. You heard somebody there. You heard somebody there. Hold on. Like, when you're walking through the reception. Yeah, you hear somebody run to your right. Somebody's go, uh, running uh, from the reception area over towards uh, Chief Iron's office. Yeah. See it, SI. Appreciate you, bud. Have a good rest of your night. Yeah, you missed that. You also see scratch marks to your left and you don't chase them. You're kind of like... You're kind of not committing to anything. That's kind of your issue right now. 
is you like you're kind of like what you know which is a reasonable response is like hey they just did a lot of gens super quickly that's kind of scary right like you're kind of like uh but like you're also not committing to anything either which is like a lack of action and you, you gotta commit to something right you gotta commit to something Okay, so you know that's Nia. Nia, you don't have any pressure on. You need to find Yunjin. And she's pre-dropping, okay. I'll say I would take this kick and go find Yunjin. Yeah, there you go. Check one of the other gens. Nah, I just patrol other gens at this point. Because you, like, unless you can down Nia within, like, like a super quick, like, 30 second chase, like, that's just, like, that's just a waste of time. There, you see her. He's on that gen. There you go. No, I, I would commit to this. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Good, good hit, good hit. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, maybe start actually going for some more shots. Because if they're gonna be, like, doing this much damage... Oh, they put Shadow stuff up again. Uh, this much gen progress and putting it out so quickly, you, you really do need to be like cutting down on your chase time, which is you're not doing anything necessarily wrong, I would say. You're just kind of like doing your best with like their intense sweatiness. Uh, you needed to stay like on her, on her. I know Shadow Steps there, but like in the event, so this is good. This is a good, this is a teachable moment. Um, in the event of Shadow Step and stuff like that, you need to follow people a little bit more closely. What you're doing there was a very, very good mind game to try and like cut her off at that at, at the uh, photo room which in almost every other like in any other situation you are 100 right that would be the perfect right play to kind of like mix it up and get her but with shadow step you, that was a huge risk to take because of exactly what happened because if you guess that mind game wrong you don't have scratch marks to catch back up to her now and now she gets out for free so you should have played it safe there and uh followed her uh the 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 pools of blood uh, and not gone for a mind game there and played it a little bit more safely. Because now you have no idea where she is. She could be ducked in the basement for all you know, but you don't have time to search that. Yeah, and now Tinker's about to proc on two gens. That was prob- that's- that's probably, like, that's probably the thing that's gonna cost you this match. I know it seems insignificant, but that's probably the thing that's actually- because you already have somebody dead at two gens, which is good. But you needed to keep out that, that pressure. That's actually- what caused you that or probably okay um that's probably actually what's gonna cause you to lose this match once again you have no pressure on cheryl so like you can chase her here but unless you can down her in like 30 seconds like but you can you did good but you once again you should ideally still be going for yunjin here luckily she does she got down pretty quickly Oh, and she's got boil over. Usually, you can kind of work with boil over, but not on it. On indoor maps, it, it's just kind of like there's a lot of inherent value you get, just because there are walls everywhere. Pretty cocky. What was cocky about Cheryl? What did she do that was cocky? That was interesting. I don't know why you went towards the center of the map and then back this way. It was weird. Did they send you here? I need to check that at the end of the match. Because that's kind of devilish to go to RPD and do Shadow Step. I used to do it with a friend back in the day. It was really disgusting. <laughs> it was funny, but it was disgusting. The killers would let us have it in the after chat. We'd be just like, yep, we know. <laughs> we know it's stupid. Boy, before Chase, you could have just been being like, go for that other person. Because she wasn't on that gen alone. Unless you didn't catch that. Okay, and so now she's going to be death -like. Once again, you don't really have room to play nice right now. So I, I like the play to just, you know, tunnel Cheryl. I noticed you like to, like, put your trail in tiny little places like they're traps. No, that's not a bad idea. But just be careful about the time efficiency of doing that. Because, like, I'll do that occasionally is, like, at the be beginning of a match, if I know, like, for example, if I'm on Garden of Joy and I spawn near the, like, the, um, 
like the uh the parking lot loop like that's one of the best loops in the game like that parking lot loop into that tile especially if that window is facing the parking lot loop Ooh, that is one of the best loops in the game so like i'll i'll draw my trail there or if i spawn in the main building you know i'll draw my trail up through that god window and then vault out like you know but like your your trail tra the trail of torment in it uh in this game not the perk <laughs> uh the the actual uh trails in this game um like they have a duration like they 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 are only on the map for a certain period of time so it's not like a trapper trap where if you like you set it there it'll be there forever and you can like use it to like help shut down a loop uh they have a duration so unless you th like this is okay ish to do that here because you're you're suspecting that somebody's going to come for the save like relatively soon but um just keep in mind that it is a time investment and it's a time investment that is not guaranteed to pay off because there's literally a timer on how long that'll sit there like those do eventually just kind of go away on their own. So don't treat those sort of like trapper traps or like hag traps. Like unless like you are you are foreseeing that you know we're gonna be looping here very soon, right? So just keep that in mind. Yeah. See, if Yunjin had been dead already, like Tinker would be going off on this gen. You'd have a. Uh... This is a good use of your Tinker. Very smart use of a Tinker here. And because you're not under the shadow step, you can mind game. Yeah. Yeah, you should've been going. Like if you if you've been going after Yunjin earlier, you wouldn't even be in this situation. But like this is the case in point to that, right? Yeah, you need a hooker in that corner. I don't blame you for not actually getting a lot of use out of your scourge hooks, by the way, either, because it's RPD. Indoor maps are harder to get use out of scourge hooks. Yeah, you're kind of in a bad situation here. It kind of shows the importance of like you know finding two survivors and and going after those two survivors early. Honestly, your best bet here is yeah, go back to the hook or proxy around the hook and just kind of like try to create some pressure here. If you had known where Cheryl had gone there, it probably would have been a smart idea to chase her. But like, you didn't know, you didn't see actually see Cheryl, so you could have ended up falling scratch marks, and it was like the wrong ones. You could have seen by the blood pools, but like this is the more safe position. Tokens already used, yeah. Uh, I don't like this play to go to the door. You're just kind of like giving them an. Oh, she's running. Oh, okay. Well, it's Nia, so she can just take it and get out. Yeah, I don't like this play to leave the hook. At this point, you're just trying to salvage a 2k and potentially force uh, more pressure out of a dumb play from them. The only way this could have been a 3k is like if you had like caught Cheryl earlier. I would have waited for a grab. I would have I would have waited for a grab. I would have waited for a grab. I would have waited for a grab. You got way too excited there. The, the grabs are still in the game. I would have waited for a grab there. That was... That was not the right play. Well, all you, at least all you can do... What you can do here is just wait 10 seconds with her. Down her and then give her the chop. Give her the gold yeet. So you get your guaranteed 2k here. Ay -ya -ya. Yeet! Yeah. Get her. Uh, is this about something? What? What's up? I want to see their builds. I want to see what they brought. That was all. Th you, you were good. Good call earlier on the uh, the triple boom. Good call. Good call. Good call. There's only one proof, so they really didn't like. That was just like gen efficiency. That wasn't really like them using gen perks or toolboxes. That was just gen efficiency. And this person did bring RPD and did bring it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that unfortunately tracks. That unfortunately tracks. All right, so in terms of your main takeaways, like you honestly, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be completely real with you, and this isn't, a, a, you know, me like, you know, avoiding the, the the job here, but like, I think I think you did fairly well actually. I think for only one slowdown, and like getting sent to a map where your your slowdown isn't as available to you because of the pain res hooks, I think you did a fairly good job. You zoned when you needed to zone. Maybe you could have gotten for more shots, but that'll come in time. And the shots you did go for, you hit. Like, you, like, you, you, you played fairly well. You played fairly well. And, um, I think it's just you were in a situation where this team knew how to split up on gens very, uh, very, um, 
this team knew how to split up on gens very well, um, which was uh, unfortunate for you. I think in terms of your takeaways, um, I think you you don't have a lot to work on, but like there's just some some simple stuff um, that uh, you can do a little bit better. You can do a little bit better, like just just some things that'll like you know help curb out some of these uh, rough spots. Uh, I think the first thing, and I, and I'll talk about this first takeaway because I th I do feel like this is the one thing that actually like like pretty actually caused you to lose this match. There's a one a pivotal play that like cost you a lot was you decided to go for like a mind game while following somebody through a shadow step. And if you, that was the first time you would run into the shadow step, I probably wouldn't have brought it up. I would have been like, ah, oh, shadow step. But like you knew they had shadow step. You know that they have been putting down shadow step very, very frequently the entire match. So you were aware that it was in play and you know that it was in the match. Um, so yeah, you, you decided to go for a risky mind game at, I believe it was like one or two gens and mind game somebody while they were running through shadow step, which was a huge risk. And I think that that's like, that is the one thing that costs you that match. Cause if you had actually been able to down her there, hook her, come back, you know, have a quick chase down her again, she would have no part in that end game. She would have no part in that end game, which means when you, you know, started giving it to Cheryl at the end there, it would have been a three K and not a, not a two K. So like when you're under the effects of shadow step, especially on an indoor map where you have no line of sight, you should play safer and follow their pools of blood and follow them closer and don't go for anything fancy. That's the time you should play like very safe, not vice versa. So I think that was the main play that actually lost you this game. Um, Second thing, and this is this is really minor. This is really minor. Um, zoning is a great tool and an awesome tool on Pyramid, and it gets you so many good hits on this match, which is really, really good. But there's also, like, especially when you have a team like this who's, like, very, very gen efficient and time becomes of the essence because they're gen efficient, like, I would have liked to see more M2s out of you. Because, like, that's how you circum... Like, he has a chase circumvention power, and he has one of the few powers in the game that can actually go through walls, uh, which is, like, artist nurse, and that's, that's it, right? So... Maybe I would have liked to see more M2s. That way your chases got even shorter. Something akin to, like, what happened with Cheryl, like, at the end of the match, where, like, you were just, like, hitting her through stuff, and, and like, that chase was, like, 20 seconds tops. That, if you had more chases like that during the match, that probably would have saved, shaved off some time and probably helped you buy enough time to maybe get one more person here. But that's 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 mostly minor, because the shot you did go for, like, the shots you did go for were good. I just wish I'd saw more of it. I wish I had seen more of it. All right. Um, I'm trying to think. You didn't really do anything horribly wrong. There were, I mean, third thing, and this is a very, very minor thing. This is a very, very minor thing. You lost, like, you lost some, um, you lost some, uh, some time in your matches to this, but it wasn't a huge amount, but it, it was a time waster. Is you kind of, like, disembarked from ch Chase a lot. Like, you, you disembarked from Chase a lot. Like, you would just, like, like stop to, like, go randomly. Like, especially at the beginning of the match where you had a bunch of them, like, on that stairwell and that, that balcony. You would just, like, be like, okay, well, I, I, I ch I'm chasing this person. I hit him once. And now, like, okay, and I'm going to go check the stairwell randomly. Or, hey, I'm going to go look over here for some reason. Like, you kind of got, like, distracted. But, you know, if you want to, like, break off and split pressure, that's fine. But, like, you didn't seem to have a goal whenever you would, like, leave Chase to go do something. Um... So unless you like are planning to like, you know, like I said, split pressure or like, a, like we did at that one point where you're wanting to kick the boon, like I would, I would commit a little bit more in your chases. But once again, that's most of that's really minor. Like, honestly, it, if you didn't have Tinker here and you had like one more slowdown, you probably would have three or four kid. Like that's, that's the, that's the amount of like time saved that I'm talking about. It's not a, it's not a, a massive amount. Like literally if you had one more slowdown, you probably would have won this match. Because you, you played mostly fine. So, those are mostly minor. But like I said, the, the big thing that costs you the game is taking that huge risk with Shadow Step, which is just something you probably shouldn't do. So that would be my probably my biggest takeaway. So, yeah.